Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars and I have for you the introduction to part four of the series Satan's Powers and What to Do About Them by Alice B. Claggett. Part four is entitled Qualities of Satan, Demons, and Devils According to the Bible. I was wondering what the Bible has to say about the qualities of Satan and devils. And I searched around online for a list of those qualities and found quite a good article by Diane S. Dew, D E W, called Satan, Demons, and the Powers of Darkness. And I learned a lot about Satan from that reference. And then I thought, I would like to present those qualities listed in the Bible for Satan and demons and devils with a biblical quote with a short explanation or description and with an illustration or two, an image or two, to bring out more vividly um, the biblical context. So there were 19 qualities between Diane Dew's article and some other articles online that I read and each of those I'm going to put in a separate sh very short video one by one. Today this is just an introduction so I thought I would tell you what the qualities of Satan are according to the Bible. Here goes. Satan wants to be worshipped Satan speaks as a dragon. He is the great deceiver who plays black magic tricks on humans. Satan causes men to lie. He is the prince and power of the air. He is said to be the god of this world who can blind the minds of men. He's called Prince of Devils, Accuser of the Brethren, Lucifer, the Wicked One, Beelzebub, Devil, Father of Lies, Murderer, the Tempter, the enemy, roaring lion, the adversary, and then is listed Satan's end, the lake of fire. Each of these topics is going to be, as I said, in a separate, very short video in the coming days. So, I have an image for you of Satan in the popular concept uh, to accompany this video. Um, you can see that it's a takeoff on the old mythological image of the nature spirit, Pan, because of the, the horns and the mischievous look. Uh, the unusual thing about it is the color red, which I don't believe was d used to depict the god Pan in mythology. So this is the introduction to qualities of Satan, demons, and devils according to the Bible. And I'm looking forward to conversations on this topic day by day in the future. Y'all take care. May God bless you and keep you safe and be with you through all your days.